Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Wargroove, where we are about to face a yet mightier foe. Sigrid and her plan, um, her plan doesn't seem to have ever had a way that it could possibly have worked, and Sigrid herself was trivial to defeat. Uh, I think they, they maybe screwed up the pacing of this part a little bit by putting the huge cool epic level here. Like, this and this were both much more difficult than the fight against Sigrid. Maybe, like, maybe it should have been weirdly easy to get to Valder, and they were like, huh, why isn't this really defended? And it's because Sigurd has actually marshaled his forces to defend the beachhead that she's established over here, with her plan being to grab, you know. I I'm just saying, if they wanted the switch to, oh, Sigrid's actually behind everything the whole time, to really work from, a, like, a mechanical feeling standpoint, uh, the battle against her should not have been extremely easy right after a battle that is like much larger in scale because the way you sell that raise in stakes is either by having the level be hard or by having the level be an enormous undertaking even if it isn't that hard because the scale of the task can impart some some grandness to it i don't know i feel like this this is just kind of like a weird bit here i am very curious uh what a yet mightier foe might look like though let's have a look what? Uh. Wow, that's a uh, okay. Who dares huh? enter this place? Indeed, I you? am Princess Elodie. Okay, that's a good answer. Requiem. Ha! It's a cello. It is a cello. Uh. I cannot okay. allow this. So she's got a big, no. cool magic cello. We can do the thing that we always do to that. I don't know how magic it is, but probably if you shoot it with a trebuchet, it still breaks. <laughs> the darkness. Right. There's not... Listen, I hear what you're saying, but there's not room in the mechanics for, like, a, um... But an no, issue of wills or, I like, us being... I must. Yeah, it's, it's still gonna be My resolved queen. by us shooting at units with other units, so let's just uh, get to that part, <laughs> shall we? Hmm... Words will not help. We have but one recourse. It's the one recourse yeah. that we literally always use. I won't let. I don't think there's any reason to believe that we just have one recourse, in part because I don't think any of them would know if there was any other action available. They wouldn't even have an idea what that looks like. Okay, she defeated us with cello playing. She got us. Yeah. That was not very good. Like, shouting was able to dispel the magic of the cello? Again, we're having problems with, like... We're having problems with the scale of the threat here. Hear my song. Your heart is weak! Okay. What? My queen. So, we will not be able to use troops. This is just going to be commanders. And this is a cool <laughs> idea for a level. We do have money. It's weird that we don't have zero money if it is the case that we're only we're not gonna be able to use units or unit abilities, but not a big deal. So let's just try to make it so that we are not trivially shot by archers here. Also the trebuchet, we gotta watch out for that one. Let's see, the trebuchet can shoot as far as the crossroads of the road there. So yeah, we just want to move forward, as as has been the case before. Oh, I guess Nuru's ability costs gold. That's why that's why we have a little bit of money. Uh, as has been the case before, it's going to be important to let Mercia get killing blows as much as possible. So her ability is super powerful, and it's going to be really, really relevant here. Okay, this I'm fine with. That, that doesn't really help them at all. I'm just trying to make sure we don't get arched. We can certainly fight melee units. The trebuchet didn't move. That is a little bit of a shame. That makes it tricky to approach. Somebody's going to have to endure a trebuchet hit to the face, I think. I don't know there's really a way around it. 
Um, so Mercy can run down here, drop the archer, and then be pretty close to full on Wargroove, be in a position to threaten this thing. But after she gets hit by the trebuchet, we're really going to want her to actually use her Wargroove. So we definitely want to make sure that we have somebody else in range to attack the trebuchet. Ragna's pretty valuable. I'm trying to figure out, like, by the value of their Wargrooves, who wants to get the killing blow on this skeleton? I think Ragna might actually be the next most valuable Wargroove. Her, the thing she does is pretty powerful. Valder's is terrible. Emmerich's is fine. His is okay. Caesar's is actually pretty good, too. Yeah, we should have Caesar knock out this, uh, this pup. And then somebody should come down here and soften up the Alchemist, because otherwise he's going to get a pretty good crit off. Oh, he actually can't move into the mountain over there. Somebody's got to knock this guy out, and then... Actually, we definitely need it not to be Ragna, because I need Ragna to move to here and take a shot at that archer. Just have it be you. Definitely want to do this. I'm pretty sure I do want to do that. Hmm. Let's go. All right, we still have our groups. Yes, I. Yes, I understand the premise of the level. I'm with you. So it might be the case that Nuru is the one that we want to push forward here. You have Emmerich knock out this guy real quick. Open up the path to uh, run people forward. This does put Valder in range of the trebuchet attack. Next turn you go one, two, three, four and get it, or stand up on the mountains and get it. Like maybe that's the right thing to do here. Then he may as well attack that guy. And actually then maybe we have Nuru finish this guy off um, just so that they can't form spear crits. This does leave Caesar in position to get attacked quite a lot. He's not gonna get crit by the archer and he does have plus defense. We have Wargroove available from Mercia. It shouldn't be a problem. I think. <laughs> Enter Oblivion! Oh. Yeah. Okay, how are we going to interact with that, I wonder? Battle stance activate! <coughs> Him being able to do that all of a sudden may have killed Mercia? Yeah. My queen! So that might have been a scripted loss, because that is probably Silence. not. No, okay. Uh, it's definitely not Here, possible for us to win the battle if we're losing uh, the few units we get to start with. What? So there must be some mechanic where we I can go. wake them back up. <laughs> Maybe like attacking them once or something. That's really crappy, though. That's like, um, that being possible feels like really bad design to me. And that's one of my pet peeves when people go, well, a thing happened that I don't like, and that's just bad game design. Because the fact is, if you're throwing a temper tantrum on a forum about a thing that happened to you in a game, probably you don't have any idea what bad game design is. But it does suck that there's, like, literally no counterplay available there. It would suck a little bit less if it wasn't the case that, um... I'm gonna stack people up a little bit differently here. Uh, it would, it would suck a little bit less, less that that was the case if it wasn't also the case that there's not a quick skip all of the dialogue and story button. Like, we're able to, to click through the cinematic at the beginning, but then I still have to click each text box out during the, uh, little intro. Okay, I think I like this arrangement of people a little bit better. Okay, so she's going to take over the dumb kid's mind. I think a lot of what we did there was still right. I mean, I just, like, run him off into the corner or something. And using him to do damage is still probably pretty good. As much as I want to run Mercia forward, probably not a good idea.
So Mercy of finishing off this skeleton still puts us in pretty good position as far as um, as far as using her war groove goes. Who wants to pick up this kill? I guess it, it has to be Emmerich. Uh, so I kind of want Mercy to end up where Ragna is now. So I guess we'll do this with Ragna. And then Caesar's Wargroove is actually quite good. Let's... Make sure he's picking up uh, stuff here. Picking up a war groove charge. So I have to imagine it is the case that you lose if anybody dies. I did put Ragna in position to get crit here. So we probably need to rush some bodies down here and just like lower the number of enemy units that can attack her. And I don't actually care about picking up Valder's um, war groove very much. So he doesn't need to go after the kill. And sadly, there's no way to have the kid actually be in a place where he can't attack Mercia. Actually, if I move him to here... He won't be he won't he doesn't have enough move from here to attack Mercia. <laughs> Your heart is weak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so all that stuff happens. The trebuchet takes the crit, because of course it does, why wouldn't you? Nuru's pretty weak. For the most part their units are. Pretty bad. And dead. Also dead. Okay, so we don't even we don't even have to hit him. Alright, we all need each other. And we have we get a one turn warning when somebody's going to get taken over. Well, Caesar probably just takes this guy down, right? We gotta get rid of the archers. That's very important. Uh, you can go, apparently not, finish off that archer, so that's fun. We definitely have to hit this thing. And a couple of people who are in pretty dire shape already. This guy is going to be able to hit Emmerich pretty hard, but it doesn't matter too too, too much. How much damage do swordsmen deal to Remiches? Okay. I'm wondering about maybe having him move over here and drop a skeleton to attack the trebuchet. But we just have, uh, we have Tenry not quite kill, but get pretty close to killing this archer. Then we could have you heal. Or we could have you summon something, rather. Already partway into my next thought there. Definitely gotta do this. You should definitely be trying to charge your war groove without moving too far forward. I'm a little worried that moving to here... Um, yeah, moving to there makes you too vulnerable. Moving to here makes you not hit... You, you can't be hit by the trebuchet, at least. But we could summon something. If I were to summon something... Okay, I don't have a lot of options here. A knight would have been really useful. That's what I was hoping for. They have artificially, uh, artificially shortened the list of hireables. I want to keep people kind of fanned out, so that if one person um, 
has a bad feeling, we can move them out to the outside of the group. Rise from your grave. Alright, so he can be a little bit of a distraction. Yeah, no big surprise there, but they're not going to be able to finish the job. This is going to hurt. But Emmerich will hit back pretty hard as well. I have a spell for this. Fortunately, Mercia is at full. Or is at Wargroove. A bull. Okay, that's just a dead battle pup. Okay, so Nuru just gets moved to safety. We'll hold on. We'll figure that out in a second. Uh, first, we got to figure out where we're casting the heal from. Right there is probably it. We just need to move uh, move this dude in a little bit first. Yeah, I think one, two, three, four, five. This gets him out of range of the alchemist. And this guy is now so low that he's not a threat to anybody anymore. None shall fall while I still stand. Healing aura. Ah. Awkward. I was gonna try to have her run over to here and kill this guy where she wouldn't she wouldn't be able to contribute too much like damage to anybody who matters. Uh, the swordsman can just finish off the trebuchet while we step Emmerich back and drop a stone in the road. If we drop this right here, it actually does block the um, movement of that giant, right? So it won't be able to punch Mercia as easily. And then we're very well defended for combat. This should protect us. Because it looks like they're coming to us. We can we can afford to hang out around here a bit and pick up the next enemies, probably. Uh, you are pretty close to your war groove. One, two. So nobody's gonna be able to finish off that archer except Nuru. Nuru could. I'm tempted to just have her run, you know, to here. I think that's what I'm gonna have her do. Just get out of the way. Who do I want to have a war group more? Caesar or Ragna? I actually think Ragna's is pretty powerful. And actually, I think Caesar at 93% is gonna get his next turn no matter what. I believe that's the case. Because I think they auto charge. Well, I was gonna say I think they auto charge 10% per turn. I guess I don't I don't know how their listed charge rate changes that. Right now she's got one, two, three, four. She can move to one of these two spaces. It's currently the, the case that she cannot attack anybody. I'm tempted to have Valder run down here and do that. He'd be, he'd get punched by this thing twice. He'd get hit by that spearman. It's probably not enough to actually kill him. We'll just let the very low health archer live for a turn. Hmm. Your heart is weak. I can. Okay. Yep. No big surprise there. This unfortunately is a crit, but Valder might hit back hard enough to Return kill him. To dust. Ah, uh, not quite. Yep. And then this happens, so Valder's gonna have to get Call pulled back a little bit. Oh, really? Okay, well, at least it uses um, Elodie's money and not my own. And it seems that Elodie is limited by uh, by the summon list in the same way we are, so she can't actually hire anything dangerous. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, they moved the trebuchet forward far enough for us to hit it, and there's no way that not hitting it is right. Mercia could finish off the battle pop. Like she, Mercia killed something, right? We know that. Just have it be this guy. She's pretty close. I think we probably just bank Caesar's war groove and don't use it for a while. Uh, we don't need to fight the battle pup. The battle pup will definitely die on its turn. But 
we also don't actually have a useful thing for Nuru to do, so why not, I suppose? Balder has skeletons again, which... I mean, we could... We could move Valder to here, drop a skeleton there, and then both of these skeletons can get crits, which is kind of cool. By my hand, rise. And swordsmen aren't very good, but they're not useless. So what do we want? I guess we can have Caesar run up to here, finish that guy off. One, two. No, that's a three move space. So, if we don't have the skeleton attack the spearman, nobody's going to be able to. And then we can just have, we can have a commander finish off this guy. And Caesar can, I mean, I don't see any compelling reason for Caesar not to just remove that battle pup. I think we've got this second group pretty well under control. Battle pups are really bad at fighting commanders. This is probably not going to be... Okay, yeah, I was going to say. It's probably not going to be meaningful damage even with the crit, because... Boy, that alchemist sure was wounded. Right, it would be really great if we could pick up another kill for Mercia here. All right, so we want to use Ragna's war group now because she'll use it on us if we don't. But we have to figure out where we want to use it. Okay, I think we want to do that. I think we want to do this. Wondering if maybe I want to move Ragna out of the way first and have Mercia get the get the shot from here. We can have Ragna, like, run down to here and, um, jump out this way. <coughs> this kills those two units. I'm gonna break you! And it puts her on the other side of some rough terrain from us. So now we can just back up a little bit. So you move to here. Okay, I think we're good. Still a lot of units to get through. See, so this does a much better job of selling the threat level here. Because even though this battle has not so far been particularly difficult, and I doubt it will get particularly difficult, and this last group of troops looks tough. Requiem. Um, just the scale of it is going to... Your heart is weak. going to make this feel more meaningful. Yeah! You're finished! Oh, really? Even though she doesn't have shield jump, she can shield jump. That's interesting. Okay, well, if Mercia moves to right here, healing aura will get almost everybody back to full. I'm gonna move you up first. I'm here to help! So, they have a trebuchet, they have a knight, but that's really all we have to be worried about. Like, alchemists are, are still not even very good against heroes. We just gotta make sure nobody gets mobbed by too many things at once. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's see if we can't bait some of them forward. It is a little bit of a shame that we only get, like, as much as it's a cool idea to play with all of the war grooves and try to figure out how they best fit together, um, it is a little bit of a shame that commanders are all effectively the same unit, and then the little bit of ability we have to hire only allows us to hire 
other melee units. Like, the strategy portion of this level is definitely a lot weaker than, than the levels pre uh, prior to it. I want to make sure we're not walking into anything super dumb here. <laughs> okay, so Caesar can't, can't do anything to us with his war groove, obviously. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We woke him up. <laughs> and she resets their war groove whether or not she uses it. That's kind of annoying. We can certainly deal with it, though. Alright. So just make sure we're continuing to pick up shots with you... I guess the swordsmen are way better when you have six commanders, right? Able to uh, able to crit very, very frequently. So his war groove's not bad. Yeah, it feels okay to try to pick his up. Uh, that sucks though that we got some bad variants there and didn't get didn't get that kill. That slows things down. Well, we don't really get to contribute a lot more this turn. It's pretty much just running forward. Fortunately, spearmen are very, very slow in mountains. I think I might not want to move Ragna forward at all. Hey, you know what? She's in a space here that has three defense. She can just kill the spearmen. That's fine. Alright, so we have some more groups available. Yeah, that guy does the most obvious thing. I'm a little surprised by them attacking the swordsmen instead of the commanders, I guess. We may have seen how much they love to do that. Okay, yeah, that guy's toast. And I'm assuming that the trebuchet is, yeah, just never going to move. Okay. Well, Valder can very easily move to the other side of these mountains, where he's unlikely to be able to do anything meaningful to By us. My hand tries. And then contribute another soldier. Uh, yeah, I think Mercia just gets that guy. And then that opens up this skeleton to run forward and get a crit. So Valder uh, will summon an unfriendly swordsman, I guess. That's... I don't think that's a big deal. I don't think that matters. We could have... How does this thing work? Does it do damage based on... 50% of Koji's maximum damage. See, this is a little ambiguous. Does this mean the damage at the top of his current damage range? or the damage that he deals when he is at full health, or the damage at the top of the damage range that he normally has when he's at full health. Basically, what I'm wondering is, do I want to use his war group now, or do I want to wait for him to be at full health from Mercy's heal next turn before I do that? And apparently there's not going to be a way to answer that question, so... Bad news for me. So we can have you step up and finish this guy off. That does put this swordsman in crit range of the archer, but we already have a hero. We already have a character in crit range of the archer. It's not like we're going to be able to avoid getting archered. I'm going to try to avoid getting critically hit by the trebuchet, though. That seems wise. If I stand right here... And summon a cherry stone. The cherry stone will be in crit range of the trebuchet. I don't actually know how much damage it will deal. There's no entry on the table for that. I guess we'll find out. Cherry stones defend us! We are really packed in here, huh? Move you to there. Yeah, you're still safe. 
<laughs> Enter Oblivion! Yes. Okay, so... Oh, I was not paying attention to that. I did give that guy a pretty good charge on us. Well, we have the heal. It's not a big deal. Okay, I'm glad they did their turn their actions in the order they did them in. Rise from your grave. That, that's fine. He'll just um he'll just pop that thing himself next turn. Alright, this This right here is a turn where it would be really cool if Caesar had inspire. Because we may we may want to like get a lot of stuff done here. Alright, one thing at a time. What's first? First we gotta open up a path. So I'm gonna have this skeleton throw out five damage and then die on counterattack so that we can open up a space for other people to fight. And hey, the five percent damage is actually significant. You know what, let's... That's not the button I want. Let's turn the damage ranges back on. It is frustrating that you have to turn these... That you have to toggle these on and off all the time to get the values for the uh, puzzle levels to display correctly. Okay, Falder's very likely to get the job done. Let's have him do that. Return to dust. You can get most of that kill right there. I think we're probably going to use the bombs this turn. Like, we could send them to right here. And they're flying, so I... Oh, they can't pass over other people. Okay, but we can move the, um... We can move the archer. Or the this guy. And have him stand right here. And then, like, summon the bombs there and there. And they should be able to make it to this space and really blow some stuff up, I think. Yeah, let's do this. But Emmerich doesn't really want to move forward. But like, what will happen if I stand here and try to summon the bombs with only one space available? I don't actually have any idea. Let's, let's I guess, move Nuru back just so that we are sure we'll actually be able to summon them both. Mercy is just healing auras in place and it hits all of our injured guys. Well, not all of them, but I don't know that I care enough about that skeleton to move her. I guess right here still works. Yeah, we may as well heal this guy. I'll save you all. Healing aura. All right, so we have you run here. Sparrow bomb. So none of these units have to be thought about anymore. They are all already dead. Emmerich just picks that guy up. And we're still not actually in any danger from the trebuchet. I guess I can sacrifice this skeleton to the trebuchet in order to get rid of this guy entirely. So he doesn't get to do any damage. He will get to do a low damage crit otherwise. And he's at 17, which is probably not enough for that to matter. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's a... It's worth it to just sacrifice the unit. No big deal. Emmerich gets shot a couple of times. All right, we got we baited the giant forward. That's important. We gotta get rid of him. They have few enough units now that probably, um... Oh, they moved the trebuchet forward. <sighs> what I was about to say is that probably the trebuchet hitting somebody is not a big deal anymore. We can just press it, but apparently we're not going to have to. I did leave Mercia in a position where she can't move forward and kill something, which is a little awkward. But she's definitely taken the kill that's available. That puts her at 70. So it might actually be tough for us to get Valder to a place where he can't participate in combat at all. 
Yeah, he's gonna get to hit somebody. I don't think I can stop it. Let's have you do this. I kind of, even though we're we're gonna lose his war groove when he gets taken over, I don't think we want to throw a cherry stone down because I think him punching somebody is still valuable enough. So we gotta be worried about the giant and and the trebuchet. We really need to get through this archer. I don't think I can afford to try to play it safe on that. We have to get through this archer and provide people with the ability to run up and hit the trebuchet. And a bunch of my units just don't get to do anything, unfortunately. So Mercy is a couple of turns off of a heal, but it's, it's going to be a couple easy turns after we get through this snag. I'm just thinking, like, we're going to take a lot of damage here. I'm going to take 17 to 26 from this. Then I'm going to get hit by... Um, I'm going to get hit by Emmerich. Then I'm going to get hit by this guy again. I think he'll survive that. I'm wondering if maybe I actually just want to, like, stand here and summon a skeleton. Does the skeleton die? Yeah. That's probably not right. I think we just want to hit. So Emmerich comes down here, hits the trebuchet. They don't have any other ranged units. They have pretty limited ability to attack Valder here. They can only hit him from a couple of spaces. Let's see, Nuru can move down to here. We could teleport in. The thing is, like, Spearmen and uh, Battle Pups both need other units of their type to be useful. I guess let's get a Spearman? Hmm, I don't know. Let's do this. Yeah, like, once we have two spears, spears are actually pretty useful. Calling sure. Reinforcements. Hmm. Okay. Your heart so, is Emmerich weak. gets turned. I don't think Valder's gonna die here. I hope not. Okay, the giant bailed out, which is interesting. Oh, actually, I might, yeah, I might, uh... Okay, he lives. He's got to back out, obviously, but... That was, that was a little closer than I thought it was going to be. How do we want to do this? Marcia doesn't get to kill anything this turn, which is a shame. And she won't have her war groove available next turn either. So Valder just falls back. He can raise the Rise from your grave. I don't know that that's super meaningful, but he totally can do it. 60 to 69. Okay. This actually could be a kill. And if not, it leaves him low enough that I don't care about him. He's he's dead either way. It's just a matter of whether he dies now or in a, in a couple of moments here. So we want to move you out of the way because I want Ragna with full health to hit the trebuchet get as much damage on there as we can Take this! okay skeleton moves forward so that Caesar can get the final blow here all right he's gonna have his war groove soon and maybe it will even matter you may as well get yours up as well. One, two, three, four. F Actually, uh, the hoof movement type can't move onto that space. So the knight has to go around these mountains. So we're actually, like, very safe right now. Ta! 
Okay. Easy enough. Oh, Valder has to fall way, way back, though, right? Because the Sparrow Bombs could... The fact that he gets the Sparrow Bombs guaranteed no matter what actually really sucks. I'm going to have one of the Skeletons run all the way forward in the hopes of uh, pulling this group over here. So because the Sparrow Bombs have... Um, flying movement. They could get over the lava, right? You're going to you're going to play blocker for us for a moment. I think we can afford to move Valder to here. not too bad. Yeah, that was that was not bad at all. Alright, so we pulled some enemies. We can handle this. We just have to keep being cautious. It must be this no So is there any if I move her to here, she can't heal Valder. Valder's not gonna be able to get far enough. So if Valder moves to here, we want Mercia to actually end up, like, here. The Spearman just has to be elsewhere. Okay, so let's move Valder to this to this location. I think that happens. Um, we definitely want to heal people before we go using War Grooves. And our positioning's pretty good. It really is just that Mercia needs to be able to stand there. Save you all. Healing aura. Okay, that's a very powerful ability. So how do we make how, how do we best make use of everybody here? Magna can shield jump. Really put the fear of God into that archer. I'm a little worried about putting her here, but I guess right here, she is only attackable from. Either two sides and an archer crit, or three sides and a non-crit from the archer. And she'll wound the units over here enough, and they're bad enough units in general. I guess there is some danger of the, um, the alchemist standing on that tree space. Maybe I just take this jump? It's less of a blowout, but it's also way safer. Yeah, and her basically removing that archer uh, from the table right away is, I think, pretty good. So unfortunately, a lot of us are too far away to get much going. We may as well just get rid of the battle pup here. Is it better to take out the spear? They have three spears already, so they're going to still be able to get a crit even if I do that. I think I'm just going to take out the battle pup. It would be nice to get his war group active. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense for you to do that. Okay. This is actually pretty bad for our skeletons, but it's not lethal. It does seem like the AI is very eager to trade with you. Whenever whenever they can lose units to hurt you, they they do so. They seek it actively. Alright, well you just get to go live over here. We don't really have a good war groove available. We don't have a good way of getting to this archer, do we? I guess I can pop this guy. We can run the very weakened skeleton over to here and have him attack the battle pup, and then have the 
Stronger Skeleton. Well, you know what? The Stronger Skeleton might just get the job done. Let's give him a chance. Because if he can clear the path, we can get somebody through to finish off that archer. Okay, that's good enough, because now, now the weaker skeleton can finish the job. And that means Emmerich can charge through and handle this. Not exactly ideal to get the killing blow on Emmerich, but what are you going to do? Okay, that's guaranteed for Mercia. That's good for us. Uh, I guess you can move around this way. I'm going to have you actually take up the high defense space, mostly so that their swordsman can't. Okay, yeah, and the Ragna just, like... Ragna gets to defeat an irrelevant enemy. Alright, so Newer's probably gonna, like, summon a battle pop on us. Oblivion! Okay, they're working... Doing their best to charge up that Wargroove. Yeah, see, I think she's she's buying the Battle Pop every time because it's the most expensive unit. So the game has figured, like, that means it's the most effective. It has the highest internal effectiveness score. But it's much worse than a Spearman for the purpose of fighting commanders, I think. Alright, you could just clean up your mess here. So Mercy has got a uh, Mercy has got a war groove next turn, no matter what. Have this guy fall back. Have Valder move in so that we get a crit here. Would love it if you could get a killing blow. All right, so he'll be able to. He'll have a war groove next turn. One, two, three, four... Okay, so we're, out, we're within charge range. I'm trying to make it so that it, he can't um, critically charge us. I guess you may as well soften this guy up and give Mercia the killing blow. Not really necessary, but it's also not necessary for him to have it. Kind of forgot that was an enemy unit there for a moment. Alright. This coming turn might be a really good Inspire turn, actually. Really, none of them move forward. Alright, well the good news is, um, she will... Uh, she'll rejoin us when she shield slams us in a moment. Uh, it's possible... But the right play here is to wait until after the shield slam to play Mercia's uh, attack. Or to play Mercia's wargroove. But we also can't really do much else. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and wargroove. We'll do it as close as possible to this thing, like right here. So we want to move injured units in a little bit, obviously. He can't, he can't be a part of it no matter what. This skeleton can get in here. May as well do that. Valder's definitely just summoning this turn. And I don't I don't need to he'll heal up on his own. By my hand, rise! Cool shall fall while I still stand. Healing aura. Ha! This is my oh. burden. Interesting. I wonder if that's because we moved close enough, or because I did the healing aura on a turn where the music was happening. So, like, two things happened there, right? The music stopped, and Elodie joined the fight. I wonder if the music stopping was because we did the cherry stem thing on a turn where it was going to take over. I'm sure that the, uh, I'm sure that Elodie joining the fight was indeed us just getting close enough. All right, so this seems like a good turn for some sparrow bombs. Sparrow bombs! 
Because this looks like a pretty good place to use that. To really soften up the, uh, the final trebuchet quite a bit. And now we have swordsman crits available on that guy, but I don't know that I want to use them. So what I'm thinking is, maybe we move, like, him to here, go Elder Shield out, and then this right here is where we use the Inspire. I think I like that quite a bit. This should protect us. Let's just get a little aggressive. So I'm going to have one of the skeletons run up here. Just so that we get the maximum Inspire off. The skeleton can actually run over and maybe finish off that trebuchet in a way that keeps the rest of us very safe. Okay, he can't finish it off, but he can get it close. You can expose yourself a little bit. You can just run over to here. So I think I want to take out this knight really quickly. I'm wondering if the, the play is like move Emmerich to here and let the swordsman finish the job or that feels a little silly. Yeah, this is not actually significantly safer than right here. I guess we got to be careful of these giants. They do have two giants plus two knights plus two archers. So they could they could focus up an awful lot of damage very quickly if they were so inclined. Oh, this is what we do with the swordsman. He's the only one who can pull this off. Okay, so now that archer is all of a sudden not really much of a threat. But if I move somebody into attack position on the trebuchet, they do get hit by both the giants. So they die. So we can't attack the trebuchet. We can we can have the we can take out this knight pretty easily. Get back up to 50% charge, that's pretty cool. Yeah, if we move forward enough to attack the trebuchet, whoever does that dies. I guess Emmerich... Emmerich could just move to here. May as well just like be in a better defended space. Okay, no big surprises there. A lot of damage. Okay, we got the giants to split up, and we got them. We got some damage on them. You're not quite gonna be able to kill her. Right, she has fifteen thousand gold. <laughs> but, uh... Okay. Well, that's a very annoying thing to have happened. As is this. Okay, so Mercia has to fall back. How are we going to do this? We can get 7 to 20% damage done. That double alchemist heal sucked. Like, that was so bad for us. We have to kill the trebuchet. Or at least damage it very badly. But they can heal it for 40% every turn for the rest of the, the match without even having to think about how much money that's costing them. That does complicate things. <sighs> At least when the giants hit us, they take damage. We can wear them down that way. Except not really, because of the alchemists. But the trebuchet doesn't take any damage when it hits us. It definitely has to be a higher priority. Alright, well, there's no version of this where Nura can do anything at all. You know what? Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing here. Maybe what we should be doing is retreating. The giants can fight while retreating, and they will. But the trebuchet can't. Or they can fight while chasing, and they will. But the trebuchet can't. 
So maybe we fall back and make them come to us, like, spread out their formation. So then moving Nuru forward like this um, is the thing that I should not have done, if that was the plan. You know what? I should have done this at the beginning of the turn here. Let's just create a checkpoint. This promises to be a very, very long thing to have to redo. Alright, so let's soften this front up a little bit. You can't quite get that kill, which is a real shame. Caesar is... Caesar is in trebuchet crit position. Which is a bad place to be, obviously. You can only move to here. Let's, like, take the actions that where we obviously don't have other choices. So you can get to there... I think we do just go after this archer. But again, like, anything that we wound but don't kill is going to get healed for 40%. And that's definitely worrying. And yeah, then we just, like, we have to lower this giant's health so that they can't double giant anybody. Or not healthy double giant anybody. Okay, that happens. I can't do anything about it. They didn't kill her, though. She has her heal. This is not too worrying. Commander did not choose to get in on it. Emric totally dies, though. Yeah. No! Sorry. Okay, I don't think it is possible. Uh, load the checkpoint. I don't think it's possible for us to survive the number of attacks we, we have to take here. Realistically. I think falling back and drawing out their formation is probably the only way we can do this. But we can't do it that way because of Nuru. Like, Nuru dies if everybody else falls back, because I moved her forward already. And the thing is, we can't really reduce the amount of damage that Emmerich takes. We can kill the giant. If we have Emmerich and Caesar work together to kill the giant... Like, this definitely still happens. This is, this is obviously right. Can move one of the skeletons forward to do this now that Caesar's no longer here. And I think that's a worthy trade-off for his health. I can run to there. So, like, Emmerich is now... He's getting hit by an alchemist, plus an archer, plus a spearman, plus the trebuchet. I think that's still going to kill him. I think I might be uh, I think I might be out of luck on this one. I think my approach was so bad that we lose. And this is absolutely not worth doing. But having this guy stand here so that the um, so the giant has to go through him, like maybe having uh, having this guy not do anything. I guess that doesn't actually help, does it? Because my thought was we can try to keep the giant from hitting uh, our guy, but the knight will just hurl himself against our guy and die, and then the giant will hit him. So I guess we may as well kill him now and not take the damage from his attack. Okay, so Mercia takes a little bit of damage. The trebuchet hits a, hits a target that is not in any danger. That's probably good for us. Okay, 
going to go after Caesar instead, but because they didn't focus the trebuchet and everything, we might be all right. And this just doesn't really do a lot of damage. Okay, they got him close, but he's not actually dead. And the knight breaks the cherry stone. Ah, so that they can finish off Caesar. Okay. No! Stop. Yeah, I the I don't think the battle's winnable from the checkpoint position. Let's try one more time. We might have to come back and give this one another go, which is a shame because it's not a very fun mission. Like it's it's very sloggy, and because all because all of your units are effectively the same, um, not a lot of fun to be had here. All right, hold on. What if we? It has scale, but it doesn't have uh, <laughs> enjoyability. We make this archer not really able to deal damage. We have Emmerich take the first blow. I mean, Caesar almost survived anyway, right? Without the archer available to shoot Caesar for more damage, yeah, let's try it like this. Okay. This guy softens up that knight as much as possible. Not a ton we can do there. The knight goes after him. The trebuchet goes after him. Alchemist. This archer is very low on health, but that doesn't matter. Silent. The thing is, that's probably survivable. Like, I bet if we did that again, if we did that again, it might work, right? Because there was definitely damage variance involved in that. But even if we do survive it that way, we're in a, such a fragile position on the next turn, with their position not being much worse, that I bet we find it hard to survive again. So really, I think what it is is that we have to approach the phase where all of a sudden the mechanics of the battle change completely without warning with more war grooves. Um, and this really is a battle where you just have to play it through and see that in order to know that it's going to happen, that all of a sudden she's active and all of a sudden you don't have to worry about the song anymore. Uh, which sucks. Because that's, that's a long mission. <laughs> It's a long mission to have to get through in order to learn how the ending works so that you can restart it and do it correctly. I'm not pleased with that. Uh, that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time on Monday when we give this another go from the top, now having all the information about how it works, and probably beat it. And we'll see you then.